so this is a re-upload of my updated version on how to get all cards this is technically not an another update updated version but this is more like a redo because this makes it where this is a, a true updated version because like the thumbnail says you saw the thumbnail I made it where you can get 50, spend 50 gems to get like almost 600,000 sparks. And also changed it where you can also get 50 gems for 149,000. But the other method is way better, obviously. And like the thumbnail I show, you're going to need a Rose and Professor Brainstorm for the 500,000. But for the 100,000. 500 gems you don't you can use super brain the default hero which I'll show later in the video so keep keep watching so yeah this was this took me forever to figure out so I would appreciate a like and subscribe I never say that but this time I did like my god it was just frustrating trying to do this but I did it for you guys for 500 subs I worked my ass off well I mean I have nothing else to do in my life but I mean I literally just sit in my room 24-7 but anyways yeah I'll showcase it later in the video not gonna showcase it now but like the th thumbnail says literally 50 sparks f sparks 50 gems for nearly 600,000 sparks. Like you could probably nearly get like almost half the cards with just 100 gems. Like that's just or like maybe all the cards. I don't know how much sparks it takes to craft all the cards. Someone can do the math. If someone can do the math for me, I would greatly appreciate it. That way I can just update in the comments on how many sparks people would need to craft for all cards. Obviously, that's for people who have, like, none cards. So, maybe you're doing this on your... On not a new account, so you can actually get all the cards for whatever account you play on. So, yeah. So, this video might be kind of long, because I kind of talked for a while, but... Yeah, if you don't feel like listening to me listening to me that much, you can skip over as much as you want. So, yeah, this is a <laughs> re-upload, so... Yeah, if it, at some points where I talk about 20 gems, 36,000 sparks, just c ignore that, because this is a re-upload. If I do, I don't think I really talk about it that much, but yeah. I show it later, so you're going to watch, I want to keep watching, and yeah. So let's continue on with the video. Alright, yo, what's up? It's Gamer here. Slash one show you boy, slash whatever um and yeah this is the updated 22 <laughs> fucking hell 2022 version of how to get all cards because people saying does it work it doesn't how to do that it doesn't okay well i'm making an updated version because yeah so this part is only for android it's not for But if you do this, like I said, it's not for iPhone. I don't know why I'm talking out of order. It's not for iPhone. I can't confirm whether it works or doesn't because I don't know how. I don't have an iPhone. Can't be bothered buying one. I don't really like iPhone anyways. And BlueStacks. So, I'll show BlueStacks later. So, the files are all in the description. You don't need BlueStacks if you're doing it on your phone. Bluestex is only for PC. So, <coughs> FYI. If it doesn't work on your phone, then Bluestex, like I said, Bluestex for your PC. So download Bluestex on your PC. If it doesn't work, and try it on Bluestex if you want to. <coughs> Let's just get started. Now on the files, they're in the description. So just click download. Doesn't matter which account you pick. And we'll open it in a second. 
And you also want to download ES File ES File Explorer, which is also in the description. Stick. Accidentally click something. Farming may be harmful. Download anyways. It says that for any file you download off the internet. Honestly. <coughs> But yeah, like it says, it says that message whenever files don't harm you, but whenever files do harm your device, it never says, oh, this file may harm your device, but yet, like I said, I don't, I don't get that <laughs> message whenever they actually do harm my device, so yeah, just, just take it like that. So once you download it, obviously, open it and install it, install <coughs> I just let it install. Does it take too long? Open. Now tap agree. Allow. Start now. Cause that's just a tutorial. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do is go internal storage. Now as soon as you go to internal store, go to Android, then data, then it says blah blah blah, grant now, and just say use this folder, allow, you don't have to click anything. There, all the files are there. Which is why you need, you might not have to do this for for like older phones, but you might have to do this for newer phones. Like is it Android 11 Plus? So mine's just a newer phone, which is why it won't let me access the files unless I download ES File Explorer. Oh yeah, I didn't download them. Download. Open with EX File Explorer. This time only. So yeah. And hold both. Extract. Doesn't matter where you um extract it, but I'm just gonna extract it to download. go back to internal storage download alright so once you're here technical difficulty so sorry for some slight editing but yeah so copy your recipe dx30 you can copy whatever you want first now click back to home internal storage android data also if nothing shows up in data it will ask you to grant now, which I already showed, but in case I didn't, because I have pretty bad memory, then yeah, and if it doesn't show up, if it shows up first, but then it doesn't show up again, then just restart the app, and then it'll show up, as I'll show in the video, because I didn't talk, because it was being a bit frustrating, so, whatever, so, Android data, com, EA, GP, PVZ Heroes, files, cache, 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 whatever the hell, bundles, files. Then, assuming you copy the recipes first, then go to the recipes, paste, apply to all, overwrite. Okay. Then go back to home, to storage, download. So I'm going a little bit fast. But yeah, then card data 172 or whatever you didn't copy first, but I would just recommend doing it in the order I'm doing it, so it'll be easy for you. So back to Android, same place, Android, data, com, EA, GP, PVC, heroes, files, cache, bundles, files, then cards, then card data 172, paste, apply to all. Overwrite. 
That should be it. Now you are good to open PvZ Heroes. Don't know why I have a Mungus installed. It's kind of sus. So just open it up and to immediately know if it works, go to collection and then click on a card and then it should say craft negative one spark. Alright guys, so this is when the edit of my um, re-uploading starts. So, <clears throat> so yeah, about that thing I said about checking solar flare and making sure you know, her deck's still there. Um, you know, 36,000 sparks for 20 gems. And like the old title says, well, I have another deck in mind. So, there's also Super Brains, which he's a default hero, so everyone should have him. Have him. So you want to go to his Plundering Pirates deck. And, to also know if it worked, if they copied the files correctly, there should be um, 149 extra gondolas. So you can buy the deck for 50. Now, when you go to the collection screen, it will say, give you 596,000 sparks. Which isn't true. It only gives you 149,000 because <coughs> it give obviously gives you 149 extra cards, like we saw in the deck. So, right now we're at 8,600,000. 11,000. We're only going to go up 100,000 pretty much. So we'll prove it. And yeah, you see, it didn't give us 500 something thousand. It was given 149,000. So that's the thing you can do with Super Brains because he's the default hero. So that way, no one has to complain <coughs> about not, not having a hero. So I said Solar Flare, you can always do the 20 gems for 36,000 sparks. But if you have Rose or Professor Brainstorm, you're going to want to go to her decks and <coughs> go to her Power to the Flower deck info. And same thing, 149 extra cards, only 50 sparks. So, buy it. And go back to the collection screen. And it'll say 149,000. Um, which is also false. It'll give us half a million sparks, like almost 600,000 sparks. So right now, we'll be at 8,700,000. So plus 500,000, let's say plus 600,000. We should go up to 9, if I can do math, 9,300,000 something. 9,300,000, 9,400,000. So let's recycle those extras. And, like I said, 9 million, so that legit gave us nearly 600,000 sparks for 50, 50 gems. And it's the same thing with Professor Brainstorm's Fast and the Furious deck. You get <coughs> extra 149 Valks, so buy it, 50 gems. <coughs> Collection screen says the same thing again, but... It's going to give us nearly 600,000 sparks. So right now we're at 9,356,000. We should go up. I think I think we should go up to 10 million. Actually, no. We should be almost at 10 million. So we'll see. It's like with extras. And then there you go. 9,952,000. Guys, I think I might have just completely broke this game. Now, why the hell does it give you so many sparks, you might ask, if Super Brains, <coughs> Super Brains, um, Plundering Pirate decks only gives you 149,000? Well, that's a good question, and I will answer it. So, long ago, this game got an update where Briar Rose, as you see, because some cards have old stats, right? So, Briar Rose and... <coughs> God, I already forgot the name. Um, Valk. Valkyrie. They both got nerfed. They both... Valkyrie used to cost four. 
and Briar Rose used to cost five with the new update. So this makes it where the cards have old stats, like I said. And yeah, and before a long while ago, when they used to nerf cards, they made it where you can craft the same recycled the sparks or the same amount of cards sparks that it usually costs. So let's say <coughs> if I would craft a legendary, right? So any legendary to craft costs four thousand, right? I mean, people probably don't even care at this point. They're like, give me the sparks. They probably don't even care about this point. I mean, if you don't care, hey. I mean, you can just skip this part, whatever, fast forward it, whatever. <coughs> but, but, yeah, so, because nerfed, and some cards were nerfed, or buffed, then some cards were nerfed and buffed, so... You'll get the same amount of sparks you get back for crafting the card. So, if you craft, if you had four Briar Roses, but when they nerfed it, you could get back your 4,000, recycle 4,000 sparks. So, yeah, instead of that saying 1,000, it legit gives you 400,000. So, not 400,000, 4,000. So, you see, I'll craft one, and it'll give me 1,000. But it's going to give us 4,000 instead. Instead. So you see, we're at 956,000. Before we were at 952,000. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same thing with Valk. Which those cards are like the only legendaries that got... They got nerfed. And it was like... It was a thing in this game for a while that any card that got nerfed, you could craft it. You could craft it for the same amount. Recycle. Recycle. Fucking, I can't speak. You can recycle. Basically get a refund. So like I said, if you spend 4,000... 4,000... Let's say you spent 16,000 sparks getting four copies of a legendary. Well, the card got nerfed. Oh, but now you can just recycle the extras and get your full refund because the card got nerfed. So yeah, that's pretty much explains why you get so many um <laughs> sparks for um fifty gems. So to be honest, I don't even know how many sparks it takes to craft all the cards. But I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way to get all the cards. Like, screw Solar Flare's 20 gems. Screw that. Yeah, screw that, alright? Don't worry about that. Because that, yeah, that used to be the deck that gave you the most sparks. So now the deck that gives you the more sparks are Power to the Flowers. And... Fast and Furious. So how the hell did all those extra cards get added? Well, I did edit those myself. But thanks to Purple Green, which I'll link him below. Because he like showed a way that where you can ax not ax edit certain strategy decks to add a certain amount. So basically you could just make your own hack decks. So I'll link his channel in the description, but I'm the one who edited the files. He's I just followed along his video, and it was a bit complicated, I will say that. <coughs> but at the end of the day, it worked, and I finally got it to work. And I would appreciate a like and subscription, because fun fact, I was staying up nearly like 3 in the morning trying to do this. Like, I spent hours trying to do this. So yeah, I would appreciate a like. I never ask for a like or subscribe. But this time I do. I'm literally at the time I'm editing recording this, I'm literally one sub away from five hundred. So nearly half a thousand subs. <clears throat> so yeah. And please do not go into the description and asking me to Hey, can you start if you know how to hack decks now? 
can you start making us some hack decks? I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I cannot be bothered. There's a video by Purple Green that shows how to make your own hack deck, so you can do it yourself. So yeah, fifty gems for nearly six hundred thousand parks. So that's enough. You could probably get like almost nearly half of the cards with just 100 gems. That is just totally not busted at, at all. I totally did not break this game at all. <coughs> um, so yeah, this is mainly the part that I wanted to edit it. And I will do the same for blue stacks. But otherwise, this is Future Me signing out, and we'll just continue on with the video normally. Doesn't work. People always say, oh, it never works. I I push a button, craft, and then it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's not going to work because it doesn't, it doesn't take away the spark. It doesn't take one spark. It takes away the amount of sparks. That the card normally takes. So if a card takes 1,000 sparks to craft, for example, but you only have, let's say, 50 sparks. So if you only have 50, it'll take away one spark, but it won't. It won't. Um. It won't say pretty much. So yeah. Not, okay, I don't know. How to expect. Like you'll get an error message saying, "Please check your connection." So that's why you get that message for people who say you get that message a lot. So, like I said before, I show to get, get the cards. I'm just gonna say the problems that people have. Like it works for people, but people are like, "Oh, I get error connection." Blah blah blah. So yeah, if you're trying to craft cards but you don't have enough sparks, then you don't have enough sparks. So like, invent rare, super rares are a thousand. Uncommons, I think they're like 50, super rares are 250, and legendaries are 4,000. So if you don't have enough sparks, that's why you get the error message. So yeah, another error message people get is when they play a card, they try to play online, but they get an error message. So, see for example. So we're going to play a card with old stats or old abilities. So I don't really remember. Yeah, this old, this old. Let's see what else. So yeah, in case you're on the word, the game did update. did update back in the day, okay. So I can't find it really any other cards, so we'll use these cards for example and have changed stats. So we'll go on an online game. So you can skip this part if you want to to show that well to show how to get the cards. But for now I'm just showing like the errors and shit. Okay, so we have a card with old stats. So we're gonna play it. And it doesn't matter if you play a card with old stats online or if you're your opponent. So you'll see what's gonna happen right now. And there you go. Okay, for some reason it didn't work with the one three interdimensional zombie, but that's that pretty much proves it. You play a card with old stats, so the card I just played used to cost three. But I played it for two. So I'm guessing if a card costs less, costs less or more, I think that's why your game crashes. There's a problem with your game. So you automatically get kicked and lose. So that is why you cannot play online. Which I will show how you can play online once you get all the cards. If you keep watching the video. So let's just get on with it. So you get all the cards you want, the custom decks you want. Which I'm not going to show how, but if you figure it out yourself, cool. But yeah. Because that's not, that's not the point of this video, so yeah. Because <clears throat> I don't see why would you want to 
use hack decks anyway. Like offline, I understand, but people, some people just play them online, so I don't feel like showing how for people that want to use them online, so I'm sorry. So yeah, you can play offline, but that's it. But if you want to play online, and, have your, and still keep your cards and everything, you'll still keep them. you keep your cards, you keep your sparks, and yeah. And like I said earlier, when you get the error message when you craft the cards, you can still craft cards, but you can't just craft them like... Like, you can't craft them if you don't have enough sparks. Like, that's normally how the game works. You have to have enough sparks to craft it. But, yeah. So, yeah, you can see... I'm gonna go down by 4,000 sparks. You see? So, you see, on the screen, it takes away one spark. But it's not. It's gonna take away 4,000. So, we'll see. So, yeah, so you see, I'm at 377. I was at 381, so minus 4. 377, 377,000, 2 million, I don't know how I have this many sparks, but yeah. So that proves that as well. So like I said, well, how do I play online? First, I would recommend closing the game. Let's close it. And go back to ES File Explorer. Make the home, general storage, Android, data, once again, com gp pvz heroes files cache bundles files. Sorry, I'm going a little fast, but did it multiple times, so you should know by now. But in case you don't, it's fine. But put the video on a slower speed if you feel like I'm going too fast. And then you're gonna wanna hold the file card data 172, delete right there at the bottom, and delete. And then go back, just go back to files and click right there, deck recipes, delete recipe decks 30, delete. And then once you're done there, open PV Heroes and that's it for Android. It will crash once, it might, might not crash. So you have crash, just open it back up. And then it'll re-download the file that you deleted, and you'll still keep your cards, you'll keep, still keep your sparks, and everything. You know, like, glitch like that. And yeah, you still keep your sparks, still keep your cards. Now the game will revert back to normal. As you can see, we'll go on a card with the updated stats. You see, they'll have their normal stats again. So yeah, this used to cost two, but cost three because they updated it a while ago like a couple of years ago they updated this game like around the time where I made the videos first made the video that's when they updated the game so yeah um so I would update the files but I don't know how like I said I'm only doing this to show you I don't know how to update the files I don't know how to make your own custom decks I know there are other videos on how to but but yeah, let's see. So yeah, you pretty much it. I'll probably use I'll use the same deck again to show that it won't crash this time. If I play a new card, it'll load. Let's load uh, slash find the game. Search for an opponent. So yeah, that's you're pretty much done. You don't have to keep watching at this point, but I'm just showing the show that playing the new cards won't crash your game this time. Okay, I kind of want to want want to play a card that costs extra just to prove it. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm kind of dragging on the video, but I just want to show. So yeah. I just want to show. want to prove that your game won't crash. Is this the same guy? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there. We got a card. 
Okay, yeah, we got the cards. Okay. So now we'll showcase the game won't crash as long as our opponent does not concede or disconnect for whatever reason. As long as I don't disconnect, which I won't, because that's the whole point. But my Wi Fi could go out. Actually, I have dad, so it doesn't matter. So you see, turn two, we cannot play the cards. So, you know, it costs three, so that's obviously one. Come on. This is also right. why the reasons I don't want to play this game that much anymore, because everyone's kind of... I don't want to say it, but luckier than me. <laughs> so yeah, we played the card. There we go. Nothing happened. Our game's just fine. Wait for our opponent to play. He's probably confused as hell on what I'm doing. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that showcases. That proves it. We'll just wait until the end of next turn, and we'll just concede because we're gonna lose anyways. So yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> and we'll play another card. And yeah. So that show that showcases that. Alright. So that's pretty much it. So yeah. So in case you're watch still watching this, but you want to do it on blue stacks. I would advise watching this part for how to do it on Anchorage still because I explain the problems and stuff. But yeah, I explain what problems, issues that people may have when doing this. So yeah, like I said, you delete the files, you can play online once again. The game will re download them. It, it might crash, it might not crash. And people s say, like, oh, just copy the files. Cardata 172 and Recipe Dex 30 before you paste the ones I downloaded. But like, well first of all you have to paste them somewhere else. Copy and paste them somewhere else. And it'll just, the game just re-downloads them anyway, so like, what's the point? <coughs> so, yeah. Now I will do it on BlueStacks. Like I said, I would recommend if you click on the timestamp for blue stacks or whatever I would still recommend watching here if you have any issues watch the Android how to do it on an Android phone and then if you have any issues you'll see what those issues are like oh this happened on blue stacks so because I don't feel like explaining them again on blue stacks oh you know what maybe I will I will I'll, I'll ex explain them again on blue stacks once I work on blue stacks but yeah that's all I have to say so we'll continue on with blue stacks like I said you're done if you done this on Android fo phone you're done you don't need to worry about this next part it's only for blue stacks only for people who didn't it didn't work on their Android Floyd Android phone Jesus I can't speak blah, blah, blah. or for people who has an iPhone and don't know how I would just recommend doing it on PC because I don't even think it works on iPhone. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe people have tutorials on internet how to do it on iPhone, but I don't think it's possible. So, yeah. Alright, future gamer here. So, yeah, after you get all of the um, cards and whatnot, and then. Well, first of all. I just want to say this. If you like, if you want to grind for gems, but yet still have the hack enable, you, but yet in order to do that, to do that, you want to play ranked. But like I said earlier, like I showed earlier, you have to delete the file to play ranked. But then you could say, oh, then how am I supposed to grind for gems then? Well, here's what I would do. First, I would grind for gems. Just grind for a couple. I would guess 300 would be good enough to get as many sparks as you want. 
and yeah, so grind that. So, but already deleted the files for the place. We'll simply just copy them and just paste them again in their places that I showed earlier. That's all you have to do to get the hack back. You still keep your cards, your sparks, your gems. You keep all that. But in case you don't feel like playing ranked, I will leave a link for Undying Pharaoh's video for Unlimited Gems. It has to do with watching ads, yes. But it works, so. For Unlimited Gems. So you can watch his video and get gems in case you don't feel like playing ranked. So you can copy and paste the files any time to get the hack back in order to play online and in order to play online just delete the files and yeah that's, that's pretty much all you have to do and like I said from early that did not show this but obviously you know you go to sp the spot android data com ea files cache bundles files then you can just delete them and yeah just like i said you delete them but if you want to hack again just paste the fi downloaded files again that simple there's nothing much to it and yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say so yeah just make sure you have solar flare and make sure you have gems. And if you like I said if you don't have solar floor flare, I will leave a link in the description for all heroes in case you don't feel like grinding seven hundred and fifty gems. But you should have been got solar flare, he's probably one of the best heroes. And she's one of the starter heroes, so I don't understand why people don't have her, but I mean hey. Maybe I don't know, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> But it is what it is. Like I said, leave a link in the description if you don't have solar flare. Leave a link in the description. I'll leave a link in the description for all for gems. If you don't feel like playing ranked or doing whatnot. So yeah. And you can watch these videos, do these videos in any order. You can watch do the heroes first or do the cards first. Whichever one you want. So, I would recommend doing the car the heroes first, then cards, because you have all the cards and but no heroes, and what's the point, you know? So, that's just that's just me. But you could do whatever if you ever already have all heroes but not no cards, and yeah, go ahead. But yeah, all right, let's move on. Finally, this time, move on to blue stacks. <coughs> all right, so here is how to get all cards for blue stacks. So, first of all, you're gonna need blue stacks. To leave a link in the description for your PC, so you're gonna scroll down. And you're gonna wanna install <coughs> blue stacks four. Now install whichever one you need, whichever. If your PC is 32-bit, 64-bit, whichever one you need. So if it doesn't work, by the way, you probably didn't d download the correct version that you needed. So just look on your PC settings and all that. So, so yeah, let's continue on with blue stacks. Then, all right, yo, um, future um gamer here. Um, I just wanted to say this real quick before we start the video. So. Yeah, in blue stacks, you can come back to this part, whatever, but I just wanted to point this out. So I'll show this in the beginning, but yet I'll point this out later because this is for cards as well, but I want to show this tip if you have any problems for um, heroes and cards if you can't access certain folders and you allowed ES File Explorer or whatever to access the files. <coughs> But it still won't show you the folders. So, what you're going to want to do is go to device, then where it says choose a predefined profile, 
choose 1 plus 3t. <coughs> so once you do that, so once you choose 1 plus 3t, then you're also going to want to do blue stacks about check for update. You are in the latest version. Make sure you're using BlueStacks 4 as well, and whichever bit your PC is, 64-bit, 32-bit. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's the only tips I have for you if it doesn't work for heroes and cards. So if you came here when you did all cards, and I would rec if it didn't work for you, it's certain folders didn't show up and you allowed the... Um, ES file explorer, whatever file explorer to access the files, then try choosing 1 plus 3T or choose a predefined profile. And like I said, update BlueStacks 4, make sure it's fully updated. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, and let's continue on with the video. Alright, so now once you have BlueStacks installed, you're going to want to install. <coughs> PVZ Heroes, which is kind of the whole point. And then, once you do, once you do, you're also going to want to go in the browser and install ES File Explorer and Thingy, cheat PVZH from, you know, the browser within BlueStacks. So, so yeah. Fun fact. This is like my fourth time recording this. So if it looks like I already downloaded the files, then this is my fourth time recording this because all my previous attempts have been either the recording was lagging and the recording didn't record all the way. Why? Because OBS. Like this time I'm recording on something else. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. I'm pretty sure it will because I did test this recording. It's on um, Xbox Game Bar. So yeah. Hopefully everything's fine. Because honestly, <laughs> I just lost my patience for today. So, yeah. So yeah, once you're download the files, download ES file open ES file APK once it's done click on it then install uh, excuse me uh, excuse me again uh, excuse me for like the fifth time uh, okay <laughs> now I'm just overdoing it <coughs> well, that was the last one <coughs> Alright, once this is done, sorry I don't have the fastest PC in the world. Open. <coughs> PC is really bad. <coughs> so I'm sorry. So once you first open it, agree. Storage permission, allow. Texas files. Start now. Then once you are here, go to internal storage, download, <coughs> so it'll open, I oh, didn't click on it, okay. So once you're in download, hold the Pikit PVZH zip file, more, extract two. Does not matter where, but where you extract the files to, but you just just make it picked automatic. So it mostly might just it'll just extract the folder to um here to download to download a folder. All right, so once it's done, open cheat pvzh and then copy card data one seven two. Don't click on it like I did. Hold it. Not just click once, copy. <coughs> then home up here, eternal storage, Android, data, 
com pvz heroes and also if you see the android logo for um pvz hero heroes it's fine don't worry <coughs> it just does that because i installed uninstalled the game many times just trying to test it and record so so click on that i th i think that's why it's doing that but like i said don't worry about it it's fine so once you click on that come files catchy bundles files and cards and paste card data 172 here and apply to all overwrite <coughs> all right once you copy that go back to home back to general storage then back to download then back to gpvz edge then copy recipe dex 30 <coughs> don't know what I'm doing that's fine then go back home internal storage android data call me a gpvz heroes files catchy bundles files and deck recipes and paste deck no. Recipe Dex 30 here. Paste it. Apply to all. Overwrite. So once you're done with that, you can close ES File Explorer. Close browser. And then you can open PVZ Heroes. And yeah. So I might cut this loading screen out if it does take too long. Because like I said, I have a really bad PC. So... We'll see. Alright, well, I'm definitely cutting that out because that took a bit longer than I hoped it would. So I'm sorry for going to settings. You don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to turn down the um, music a bit. Alright. So what you're going to do to immediately know if it worked, go to collection. <coughs> so I'll click on any card info and there you go it should say negative one spark to craft alright so once you go to the collection screen you can see that this works negative one sparks but like I said this is a redo so this is the part I'm doing differently so like the thumbnail says 50 gems for nearly half a million sparks so there is the original way of you know having solar flare and buying her deck 20 gems 36 thousand sparks you know this you know the drill but, um, yeah, if you have Rose or Professor Brainstorm, go to Rose, go to your Power to the Flowers deck, info, and then you'll get extra Briar Roses, buy it, 50 gems, so, then buy it, and then it'll say 149,000 plus. But that is completely false. It'll be 500,000 plus. So we'll see. We'll probably be at 10,400,000 once we do this. Five hundred thousand. Never mind. Ten million five hundred thousand sparks. <coughs> um. So yeah, rinse and repeat that if you have rows. Just Click on Rose, well, not the hero, on the decks, and go to her decks and just rinse and repeat. Now, there is also another one. If you don't have Rose, there is Professor, I forgot this hero's name, Professor Brainstorm. <coughs> so go to decks, 
go to Professor's Fast and the Furious deck. And then this time is mini Valks. So, 50 gems. Bye. Then as you can see, we are at 10,548,000 sparks. <coughs> so this should get us to 11 million something. Like I said, don't be confused. When it says 149,000 plus, it's 500,000 plus sparks. And yeah, we're at 11 million sparks. I didn't break the game. Um, but if you don't have either of those, if you don't have Solar Flare either, I also modified a Super Brains deck. So he's the default hero, so everyone's going to have Super Brains. So you're going to want to go to Super Brains, hit, not hit, home, Plundering Pirates deck, info. It has 149,000 combat lists, so I don't want to buy. So once you buy it, this time it will say 596,000 plus, but it doesn't do that for um, that Super Brain stack. So you'll see we'll go up only to 11 million. Um, 11 million, 200 thousand so yeah pretty much so yeah it pretty much shows that but yeah if you don't have solar flare if you don't have professor brimstone if you, if you don't have um rose if you don't have rose then you can do super brains like i said he's oh, i forgot what the strategy deck was called plundering pirates deck so yeah and it'll also give you the um, other cards that are in that deck as well. But we only care about the sparks. So yeah. By the way, this might be the fastest strategy to get all the sparks on all cards, pretty much. Well, there is no max on sparks, but all the cards, pretty much. The only way this there would be a faster way of getting all the cards is there to be a mod hack that'll instantly give you all the cards, which, to my knowledge, does not exist yet, but, but yeah, I'll leave a timestamp in the description on why the hell buying 149 roses gives you f half a million sparks, but buying 149 extra gondolas does not give you half a million sparks, so. Alright then. Well, let's continue forward. Shall we then? Craft. Which won't, doesn't actually let you craft a card for negative one spark. It'll cost a normal amount. And if you don't have enough to craft a card, like say you don't have enough 4,000 to craft a legendary, you have like only less than 4,000, then you get an error message. Then I'll leave a timestamp to further explain that, because I already did. So once you're satisfied with the cards you got, the amount of sparks you got, um, and you crafted the cards, because like I said, even though you can't craft cards for negative one spark, you can still craft the cards. It, you'll, it'll just take away the normal amount of sparks that it normally does but you don't have to craft the cards when you have the hack enabled you can do it while you have the hack enabled or not the only thing you can't do when you have the hack enabled is um play online well how am I supposed to grind for gems if I can't play online well simply you just delete the files and then anytime you want the hack back, just copy the files you downloaded into the folders again, and you'll have the hack back. And you'll still keep your cards, you'll keep your gems, you'll keep everything. Everything will be fine. So yeah. And I'll leave a timestamp on why, on our, what happens when you try to play online when you um, didn't delete the files. So yeah. So right now... 
what we're gonna do is delete the file. So close PVZ Heroes, open ES File Explorer. <coughs> Then, if it will load, I'm really sorry guys, I really have a really bad PC. So, internal storage, Android, data, com, eaqp.pvz heroes, files, catchy, bundles, files, then cards, doesn't matter which order, but like I said, follow along and it'll be easier. Then cart data <coughs> cart data one seven two. Hold it. Delete. Make sure remove to recycle bin is not checked. Click OK. Then go to files. Back to files. Then deck recipes. Then recipe deck thirty. Delete. Same thing, make sure this is not checked. Move to recycle bin is not checked. Click OK, and that's it. You're done. Now you don't have to worry about deleting the files and whatnot if you don't plan on um, continue playing Blue Stacks. But if you do, if you do want all the heroes, though, I would still recommend keeping Blue Stacks, PVZ Heroes, ES, ES File Explorer installed. Because I will make a video tomorrow, upload a video tomorrow, on um, how to get the heroes on blue stacks finally. Because before I showed on blue, not blue stacks, I can't speak. Before I showed it on, um, um, what was it? Nox. I showed it on Nox, which is basically also an Android emulator, but. The thing with blue stacks though and Nox is you have to root. Whereas before you didn't have to root on parallel space in FX. But the problem is when you try to use parallel space space on blue stacks, it will crash. So yeah. So yeah. So PvZ Heroes crashed. That's fine. If it crashes, it's fine. If it doesn't crash, it's fine. So just reopen it. And then it, it should download some files, like the files you just deleted. And you should be good, and you'll keep your cards, you'll, you'll keep your gems, you'll keep everything. Everything will be fine. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is mostly it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Okay. And I kind of want to say, I did not mean tomorrow. I meant on what the video I'm uploading tomorrow... Which is, which will be the, which won't be the 21st, it'll be the 22nd, so don't be confused, because of the date. It'll be the 22nd of March, that I'll upload how to get all heroes for Parallel Space in FX Fall Explorer. But, the day after, so, um, Wednesday, I think, yeah. Tuesday, I will upload a video on updated version on how to get the heroes on FX, Fall Explorer, and Parallel Space. <coughs> and, and, um, if I can speak properly. On Wednesday, I'll upload how to get the heroes on um on uh, blue stacks but the thing with parallel space and fx is that you don't have to root your phone with blue stacks and nox you have to root but don't worry rooting is safe it does not harm your pc it does not harm blue stacks whatsoever it's absolutely fine so yeah so, to check if it's back to normal. <coughs> Ooh, really sorry that I have a bad PC. Just making the video longer than it needs to be. So, check the card info. 
So it's back to normal, negative 1,000 sparks, and <coughs> check back on Dex. For the load, Paradise 1, Info. And yeah, there you go. It's back to normal. So yeah. Like I said, if you just wanted blue stacks for the hero for the cards, you can uninstall blue stacks, you can uninstall everything. Alright, so once again, future gamer here, by the way. Thanks, if you're still watching, thanks for five hundred subs, I guess. Um and yeah, I have a slight announcement to make. This will be <laughs> I know I said before in other videos that I'll probably make PvZ Heroes updates per year. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to... I think I'm done with PvZ Heroes and tutorials and all that. For this game, at least. I'm sorry. Alright. I'll only come back to it and make videos on it if there's a, like a major update or something. Which will probably... Never happen, but still. To next thing you know, the game gets an update. Wait, what? I'm checking on the Play Store right now. What? It needs an update? Nah, I'm joking, by the way. Um. <coughs> imagine. Uh, if only this game was on PC, though. You could probably get some mod support, and then people can just, like, actually make custom cards. And people can, like, easily use them. And obviously not in ranked, because that would be dumb. It's offline. Still, that's extra content. I mean, it sucks that you can only use it offline, but next thing you know, some people might make some custom broken heroes and broken cards. So. Yeah. And I always thought of the idea th that there is a feature called random battles and um, missions. And I wonder... Like, I wish that feature would have been used for online. Like, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, once again, thanks for 500 subs. And this video is kind of my thanks to you guys, I guess. Because I know most of you guys, most of my subs are from my PVZ Hero vi videos. You know, PVZ heroes video so yeah so thanks again but yeah fortunately this will be my last um, PVZ heroes video because I don't know I don't see a reason to update it anymore because I updated it before because people said oh it didn't work oh blah 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 and plus it's kind of my fault of not doing a good job well, I feel like I didn't do a good job of showing it. So, yeah, right now, this is my last video. PZ Heroes, until it gets a major update. So, it could probably legit be my last one. And there'll never be another one, so. Yeah. And I was going to show how to do it. Get all heroes and cards on Nox. But, Nox is a... Uh, it's a bit, um, as the kids would say, sus. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my um, last PVZ Heroes videos. Until this game gets a major update, but I doubt it. But it is what it is. And I'll probably still play this. Uh, probably not, but... Um, yeah, I probably might not play this game much either, honestly. I'm sorry. So, yeah, no more PvZ Heroes videos. No more. I'm not going to play PvZ Heroes anymore. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... I don't know. It, it just... It is what it is, I guess. But yeah, once again, <laughs> thanks for um, 500 subs. 
because I just got 500 subs the time of that I'm recording this, and yeah, I guess, well obviously, and yeah, I will make other Plants vs. Zombies game videos, but just not on Heroes until it gets a major update, so, yeah, I guess this is it, so, yeah, peace.